Right, now this next topic that I'm going to be talking about is from a TV program that I watched. Now, it's a TV program, it's not real, because I know people say it's not real, but it's Nashville. It's one of the only TV programs I ever watched that comes from America. I do like others, but they don't always get shown on the TV in the UK, and I don't bother looking for them on the internet, so the majority of times, the only American ones that I watch mostly when they aren't when they're on TV here is basically Nashville and it really really made me a little bit angry because in the program Juliet Barnes yes Juliet Barnes I can't say who uh, she's played by um is it um Haley or someone hey hey uh can't remember what her name is anyway in real life but anyway in the program she um is recovering because she's been um she was in an accident in the last series anyway, and she's recovering all with malarkey, getting over from the bad experience that she had. And she wants to make a gospel album. However, this is what got me talking and got me angry when I watched it, because basically she went to church, oh yeah, and decided she wants to make a gospel album. Now there's no reason why a country singer can't make a gospel album. However, the thing that really rifled me up and got me absolutely angry was when there were black people in there who said she shouldn't be doing it. And you know why? Because she's white. Yep. You heard it. She was white. Basically, the black, certain black people in that church were not giving it the thought that she should be doing a gospel album. And that reason being because she's white. And it made me wonder that, I'm sure a lot of people might say this, but is black music, or should I say, is gospel related to black music? No. In my opinion, no. But it got me thinking about how angry it was that there were people out there, and even if it's only a programme, it could happen in real life, where they'll say, you can't record gospel music because you're white. Absolutely racist in my opinion, and it's wrong to think like that in any form of music, because it's like saying gospel, it's like saying soul music, which is almost like gospel music, you know, it's like, gospel to me is like a subgenre of soul music, whether you use the term rap music, it's like saying you can't rap because you're white, so in many cases, you could argue and say, okay, she can't sing gospel music because she's white, well, how about you change you change it and say, well, what about if a black person comes along and says, I want to sing country music? Why don't we turn around and say, you can't sing country music? And they'll say, why? Because you're black. Always use the race card on this. It will always be a case of, you're white, you're black, you can't sing that. And it's wrong. Country music has black performers. Darius Rucker and Charlie Pride have been making country music for a long time. Two of the, two of the greats in country music. Darius Rucker is fairly modern in terms of country, but he's still a country artist. So he should be able to sing it. And he does. So therefore, I don't think it's wrong to suggest that somebody who's white can't sing gospel. And it really got me. Even though it's only a programme, but in real life that can happen. Who's to say in real life somebody doesn't go to church, they're white, and say, I would like to ask if you all agree that I should be singing gospel music, you know, making an album of gospel music, because... If they say no because you're white, it's wrong. It's wrong in every level of account. And music should not be about race, because it's almost like saying other forms of music have that. You know, even rock. Rock music is predominantly performed by, say, white people. Yet you're always going to get artists who come along who are black. Lenny Kravitz and whoever else. But they deserve to do that. It's not about the race card. And... It's a bit like when you've got award shows like the MOBOs, they call it Music of Black Origin Awards. Now, I understand the origin, you know, they say it's black origin, but some people might still say it's racist because they're, they're almost saying, well, it's black music. They're almost saying, like, it's not here for mixed race. Well, it, mixed race maybe, but they're saying it's predominantly black music. They're almost saying that black performers, black people, but we don't want white people. Why? Because they don't make black music. But they do. White people sing soul music, white people do rap, 
white people do gospel and so on. It's, a, it's the same as whether it's jazz or even if you look at blues. Blues music might very much be black music and it might very much be sung mostly by black people but white people are allowed to do blues. And I think it's wrong to have that in a program where they've made it out that she can't sing gospel music because she's white and they've used that race card. It's wrong. Yeah, I know a lot of gospel singers and most of them might be black, but there's no reason why somebody can't be white and do that. And it's almost like if you go to church and even when you go to church and there's got like gospel groups, you might look at them and say there's a lot of black people there. Al Green might be the reverend as an example because he's still alive and he's a soul singer, but someone like him could be doing it. There could be 20, 30 people in that gospel, they're all black. White person might come along and say, can I join? If they said no because you're white, it'd be like, ah, not white, is it? So I think really in the show, Juliet Barnes should be allowed to sing gospel music and they should do it where she does sing gospel music because she's white. It's not about the race in that sense. I just find it wrong that things like that happen. But anyway, just got one of my wits to say that it's not about the race thing and it should always be about no matter what colour you are, you should be able to sing whatever music you like, whether they want to base it like that or not, because it's about that, you know. Eminem probably one of the biggest selling rap stars of all, all time and he's white and therefore some people might disagree that he should be singing it because he's white and therefore he's a form of black music but it's not right is it because at the end of the day you can look at reggae music and say that the biggest selling reggae artists of all time pretty much in this country and um, um, the band is um, UB40 and they have a predominantly white band with only what two or three one or two of the black members in the band does it mean that they should be singing reggae music because they're white no but it's one of them things, reggae music could be the same. Somebody might say you can't sing reggae music because you're white. Well that's wrong, 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 wrong. But anyway, I'll leave it there, just sort of give my view on that one and basically I'll leave it there. So um, bye for now.